spacecraft landed on Mars, specifically tasked to search for life. They couldn't provide conclusive evidence. Please send more help. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Hit the button, baby. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. I guess it's a bad time to be a space robot. First, first Jupiter's Jedi Juno went into safe mode and then came back out. And now the European Space Agency's Shia Parelli, Mars lander, has gone missing. Apparently the jets went too short and the parachute was released too early. And so put a Martian. That's what she said there. See, what had happened was, Guardian saying, Mars's lander lost signal one minute before landing. The ESA confirms. And you may be asking yourself, why the hell are they putting another orbiter and lander around Mars since we already have like 50 million? They will answer, we're looking for life. But if you've had 100 landers, orbiters, spider drones there, and you haven't found any life, maybe try a new planet? I don't know. Seems like space agencies are stuck in a really weird form of thinking these days. So... It traveled half a billion kilometers across the solar system, deployed its parachute flawlessly, and survived a scorching descent through the Martian atmosphere. But then everything went wrong, as ESA has confirmed that its lander was lost just one minute before it touched down the surface of the red planet. The Shuropelli lander should have been easier to say. Maybe they should just name it the Red Lander or something. Showed first signs of a glitch as it released its parachute one kilometer from the surface, and the signal went dead soon afterwards. ESA scientists said on Thursday, leaving them unsure of where the probe is and whether it crash-landed. Andrea Akomaza, ESA spacecraft operations manager, said, When we put it in the Martian environment, the spacecraft didn't behave exactly as expected. It stopped talking to us. My girlfriend does that sometimes when I'm a jerk. Maybe they were being jerks to it. <laughs> if you want something, you gotta be nice, people. It might take quite some time before we're able to locate it. That's what I was saying. And I thought they were landing this thing right near NASA's lander. So it's maybe they were doing recon on NASA. Sage does not think it would take a while to find it. I doubt it either. I mean, if it was going exactly as they wanted it, wouldn't it be landing exactly where they thought it was? I <laughs> still wouldn't know where it was. It was probably made by the same team that made Flea Comet Lander. But speaking at a press conference on Thursday morning, Jan Werner, Werner, that name sounds familiar. <laughs> yes, says Director General insisted the operations had been largely successful. <laughs> of course. I don't know, when was the last time science was like, nope, we totally screwed up. The lander going off radar at the last minute would not put the second phase of ExoMars, a six-wheel rover due to be launched in 2020 in jeopardy. Well, that's good to know that the lander that just crash landed now and broke didn't break the one that's going to go in 2020. Yes, I'm happy, said an engineer. The engineers are doing great work, but you just need a little bit of luck to succeed. And we're looking here at the photo as it's descending. And as NASA would say, the seven minutes of hell. It enters the atmosphere. The heat shield protects it. Parachute deploys. And then, boom, it lands and everything's great. Well, that's not how it happened. He confirmed that the lander's mothership, the Trace Gas Orbiter, Tigo, hey, thanks guys, had successfully swung into an elliptical orbit around Mars with a span of nearly 18 meters. The giant Tigo is more important than the two probes. Sure it is. I would imagine that anytime you have a two-party system, when one party breaks down, you say that the one that's still working is way more important. Verna said he believed the ministers of the member states who are being asked to cover the funding shortfall would not be deterred by the probe having gone off course at the final hurdle. Wait, I skipped a paragraph. Lander's primary goal was to test entry and landing technology planned for the rover, which will be armed with two-meter-long drill that will burrow into the Martian soil in search of alien organisms. Uh, NASA's already done this a couple times, so do we really need to keep repeating the same experiments over and over, looking for organisms that we haven't found yet? And what are you guys going to check every single square inch of the of ground on Mars before you can say, okay, we can't find any? The problem is they, they did find some in the 70s, and actually I think um, some scientists just went back and, and redid a white paper on it, and they did find that there was life on Mars a long time ago. First mission. So why they keep sending more, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Mars is in control of Earth. I, I have no evidence to back this up other than the very anti-human state of the media, the economy, and, and, and everything, really. Ahead of the landing, François Forget. What a perfect name for this mission. A French scientist on the European-Russian joint ExoMars mission said, many attempts to land on Mars have failed exactly because there's such a long chain of actions to be flawlessly executed. There could not be a single weak link. We're not in a position yet to determine the dynamic conditions in which the lander touched the ground. To say the lander could have survived, the landing or not. He added that finding the paddling pool such craft on the Martian surface would be a similar task to locating Beagle 2, or fillet probe, which took forever, or two years, depending on which one we're talking about. Alright, so I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, it's a bad day to be a space robot. And it's a good day to be human. So let's all internet high five, and let's hug it out, bitches. Alright, peace out. God bless everybody. Oh, and Sage, I ate your cherry pie. What? In the mid-1970s, NASA's two Viking spacecraft landed on Mars, specifically tasked to search for life. They couldn't provide conclusive evidence. Please, send more help. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. I guess it's a bad time to be a space robot. First, first Jupiter's Jedi Juno went into safe mode and then came back out. And now, 
the European Space Agency's Shia Parelli, Mars Lander, has gone missing. Apparently the jets went too short and the parachute was released too early and so putting Mars